Okay, so we're gonna move on with the build. And like I showed you guys in the introduction video, the inside of the box is really, really um, musty and moldy. And again, this is the reason why I was able to get it for a good price, but I think what we're gonna do is, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all the parts. We're gonna wash them all in hot, soapy water just to get everything nice and clean and fresh. Um, and then we'll be able to move on. We'll be able to move on to um, the plan that I have for what we're gonna do with the ship. So why don't we go ahead and I'm gonna take you guys over and I'll show you how I'm gonna wash it. I'm just gonna wash it in hot, soapy water. We gotta get everything ready, nice and clean and get rid of all the mold. Okay, so you can see everything is nice and clean. You get the warp nacelles over there. You've got the top and the bottom of the secondary hull. We got the, the base. So let's give all this some time to dry and let's take you over and we're gonna start working and I'm gonna show you the plan of what I got to light it. All right, so you've got the the instructions let me show you guys what I'm thinking along the lines of incidentally um, I've got a lot of pictures of the actual filming model uh, what I'm gonna do is every time we make a reference to the model kit I'm gonna put a picture of the actual filming model up on the screen as well with this you can see one of the things the cabin ports um, it's green but they're actually red. I'm wondering if I have anything from the, um, the lighting kits from Polar Lights, if I can use a red one. We'll look for that when we get to it. But this model kit, you can see where the lights are gonna go inside the piece. Then the wires are gonna run down, they're gonna funnel through the neck and they're gonna go into the secondary hull. And I gotta be honest, guys, no matter how much I looked, I looked everywhere all the episodes of Star Trek. Um, from what I could find, the original filming model series, um, before they put all the CGI in, um, you really can't see a lot of lights on that, on the filming model. On the CGI, they do have lights in the front, and as much as I tried, you know, guys, you know me that when, I, when you watch my channel, I just love lighting things. 
I looked everywhere, and I cannot find any lights in the secondary hull on anything. The only thing that I've seen on the CGI um, is that they have the impulse engines lit up, and they're kind of bluish, and they're kind of triangles. You got them right below over here, and you've got them on either side. But those were there. And I was thinking about doing that, but that would mean cutting into the model, and I want to do it just like the studio model. What we can do, what I was thinking is, like I did for you guys that follow my channel, you know I did the USS Constellation after her encounter with the Planet Killer. But I did her in the CGI version. And I do have an AMT model put aside that we're going to use for um, the filming model version. So I think we should do the same thing with this one. This one will be the filming model version. And we'll do another one and we'll do it with the CGI. And we'll put the impulse engines in the back. I always thought that these were the impulse engines. This. Um, kind of a structure on a secondary hull, but that's evidently not the case. Maybe that powers the impulse engines, but the, the, um, the actual thrust comes from the parts that are on the back over there. So with that all being said, they gave us four lights. You can see two are gonna go on top, and two are gonna kinda light this section. This would be the cabin ports, the crew quarters, the foredeck, and underneath, we have the room lights. This is the, um, the bottom half, and you can see the antenna. Again, I always refer to that as the photon torpedo launcher, but in the series, the original series, they don't launch photon torpedoes from there, so we're gonna just leave it alone. That's why I thought about lighting it, but when you look at the, all of the episodes with the filming model, it's always dark, so we're not gonna light it. What I had wanted to do is I had wanted to put in one of the LEDs that kind of flicker, um, that would be altering the studio model and that's not the way it is. That's, that's just the way I personally think it would look really cool, but I want to do it just the way it was when Matt, when Matt Jeffries was holding it in the Star Trek studios and how it appeared on screen um, that way. So we're going to do, we'll follow this, we'll do the four lights, we'll, run, we'll funnel them through and we'll hot wire them, uh, excuse me, wire them up into the secondary hull. And you can see this is going to be the assembly. This is really straightforward. We've even got the switch. So I think what I'm going to do is everything is nice and clean and washed. We can prep the hull for painting. Now, let's see. If, if this is hollow, then what we can do is we can put the parts together I don't know if we would call this the primary hull, but the bridge, we'll call it the bridge area. The bridge area with the long neck that goes to the, uh, the hull, there's two on top to light the quarters and there's two inside the bulb itself to light up the windows. So we can still use the four, but I'm thinking if there's a way to keep it open or to pass the wires through after we paint it, or if we're gonna have to do that prior. But anyway, you can see the parts that are going to go on. I was really hoping, really hoping that I could find lights on the uh, warp nacelles, whether it was small beacons or even something on the, um, the end cap, just to kind of show that it lights up, or maybe like any indication that there would be lights there. I know in some of the CGI, the inside of the warp nacelles have like a green glow. I thought about doing that too, but again, this, the studio model doesn't have that. The next one we do, we're going to do the CGI, and you better believe we're going to put the green glow coming from the insides of um, the chiller grills. So this is the plan. Um, I don't think I'm going to use, let me show you guys. We still have the lights. Um, I don't think we're going to use these lights. I think we're going to use the LEDs. The LEDs that I have will do the job uh, just as well, if not better. They're not going to heat up. Um, I don't know if you guys follow my channel, but I had done the Enterprise, the fiber optic Enterprise D, and it had all the lights that were small. I mean, they were, they needed to be uh, soldered, 
but they were around the same size and those lights got pretty warm i'm telling you those um nacelles got really uh toasty with all those lights on so i don't want that to happen i want it to be nice and cool so let's see I got a special toolbox that has all my lights and all my stuff in it. We got the resistors. We're not going to need those. Um, let's see. We're not going to need any of these. We're going to go with the pre-made lights. Okay, these, these are going to be the white, the bright white, so that's what I want. So, let's see. You guys can see it's going to be nice and bright. These are a pretty good size. So let's go with four of these. And who knows, because of their size, we may only be able to fit two with one on top and one on the bottom, but we'll see. Anyway, these, these are five millimeter lights. And these are the 12 to 14 volt DC. So we'll see if we're able to use them. If not, I can go to a smaller voltage. Oh, I'm going to put in my... You can see these are the, um, the resistors with the small little pin headlights. And that's always an option in small places. I was hoping to use those in the warp cells, but we don't need them. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these. We don't need resistors. We're going to have four. So that's the plan for the ship. That's the plan for the lighting. We're going to put in four LEDs. We're not going to use the ones that came with the model, but we, we are going to use all the hardware. And I have the green, the clear green parts in here as well. I was even hoping to find this part over here. Um, actually, you can't see it. This part over here, I was hoping to see video where that would be lit up. That's not lit up either. That's not an option. So, that's not going to be lit. So, we're going to figure out what we can do. I don't know. I, I want to light them. The model was meant for these to be lit. That would be cool to follow with this model. But this model is not as exact as the studio model. As you can see with the studio model, these are not lit up. They're, they're painted over. So, but let me show you guys the paint that we're gonna use. Now, for the, for the part on top that's gray, let me show you guys. Actually, let me try to get a little bit. There we go. You guys can see the, the model box. All right, so for this part, it's the same light gray as the Enterprise was um, painted with. So what I got is I like the, um, the Rust-Oleum, and this is the light gray. And this is how the finish is gonna look. And I like the finish, I like the color. It's the closest, I've looked everywhere to try to find the actual model paint. And looking at the pictures, I think this one comes up the closest, for me anyway, for my taste. You guys, whatever you want to paint, your model is fine, but I'm using Rust-Oleum. This is the primer and the paint. And you can see that's the color that's going to come out when it's dry. All right, for the under part, it's a different color. It's actually lighter. Now, you may or may not know that the original studio model was modeled by Matt Jeffries, and it was done, um, it was inspired by the manta ray. You know the manta rays have the darker color on top and the lighter from the bottom. That way there, when the prey is looking up at the light of the surface, they blend in better. And the same thing, when you're looking down at them, they're darker, so they blend in a little better with the bottom. So that's where the inspiration was for the paint scheme. Again, I looked everywhere for kind of like a, a light mint green kind of color. And this is what I found, what I came up with. Um, again, it's the Rust-Oleum, and this is the paint and the primer inside, and I end up really, I really like this color. Um, I had seen it online, and I didn't want to make the mistake of purchasing the paint and have it be totally different, so I actually went to Lowe's, 
and I got these paint cans. And let me show you guys. I think they're gonna look good together. In the studio, like the studio model, the contrast. And I hope my camera is able to show you the, the actual cool um, color scheme or the, uh, the shades. So this is gonna be the bottom part and this is gonna be the tops. And then when, when it's, the model's all finished, we're gonna put the bright lights upon it and we're gonna film it and we're gonna compare it to the studio model filming. Anyway, these are the paints that I got. And this one, let's see, what's the technical color? This one is Ocean Mist. Ocean Mist. So, again, it's the Rust-Oleum. I love the Rust-Oleum paints. They're very, very durable. So we got the primer and the paint for the gray. And we got the primer and the paint for the underside. We, I showed you guys the lighting scheme. Um, and we're all set to go. Why don't we go see if all the, uh, the parts are dry and we can start putting the, um, the bridge section together. Okay, so we got the, the parts are all nice and clean. They're all nice and dry. So this is ready to go. And again, the lights are gonna come through here and we're gonna set up everything. Now, because there's going to be no lights in the secondary hull, I don't have to worry about um, prepping it with maybe some right, um, light or reflective paint, but let me show you guys anyway. It's pretty good for light blocking. So the, uh, the paint should pretty much do a good job. Let me show you guys actually the, the part that is going to light up. You can see that looks that's pretty good for light block and we're going to have the um the uh the paint on the outside so that'll do, be, do a pretty good job it is thick what i'm thinking what we should do is we're going to put just a spritz of the uh the chrome reflective paint inside just just to give it that little extra wall of light protection we uh, kind of drill out more of the holes. You can see these are round, so these will look better drilled out. The rest are rectangle, and it won't really look right if we do those. So I'm thinking if I drill out all the round pieces, the round windows, and the ones that are um, rectangle, we can put them off. A little bit of black paint touching up, it'll look more like the studio model. So what we can do is we can actually trim away some of this because you can see this is hollow and this is going to run all the way through. So what we can do is we can get this ready and we can put this part together and we can run it, we can attach it to this and then we can run the lights through and then we'll be able to paint the bottom section after we uh, fill all the gaps. So why don't we take a look at this section first. We'll put the parts aside. <clears throat> and like I was telling you guys, I want to take this outside and give it just a little spritz of, let's see if I got this over here available. And I might have to get more. The, uh, the chrome reflective paint, uh, paint. And again, this is the Rust-Oleum. So I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna give it just a little spray, a little quick spray. Um, and then we'll be able to move on after it's dry. Okay, again, I use the Rust-Oleum. I like the metallic finish for the inside. And what I did was I did really quick, just a little spritz. And gave the inside a quick little coat of the uh, metallic finish. Let me show you the lights again. You guys can see a little bit better like that. And you can see how it's gonna reflect on the inside. And you can see the light block is much better just, just with the inside coat. 
So when we do the outside coat, it's pretty much going to seal up all the light, uh, the light leak. Let's see how cool that's kind of looking. All right, now there's a section that goes over the bulb area. Let's see. And hopefully the windows on that are going to be around. All right, here's the section. Let's see, where's the, uh, the bottom part? Here it is, it's still on a tree. I'm not used to it still being on a tree, so. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna take it off the tree for the first time from 1968. Look at that. And is that everything on this part? Yeah. So let's kind of trim it up just a bit. I got my file here somewhere. You can see that right there. See this one on the back as well. Yeah, this little piece is, is nice and smooth, and that part is a tab that's going to go on the inside. Let's see, what about? Let's see a little bit over there. I mean, for the most part, these parts are really, really crisp. There's not a lot of flash on them. They're high quality, they're nice and thick. They, there is a big difference between this, this casting and the newer one. The newer one is a lot thinner. This plastic is nice and nice and thick, nice and sturdy, and it helps with blocking the light. Anyway, you can see these are where the, um, the lights are going to go. All right, let's do the same thing for the top piece. And let's see, this one, let's use our trimmers real, real quick. smooth it feels good there's not a lot on this one so that's pretty good all right <clears throat> all right let's see um, we need to wait for this to dry this is this is ready to go we get the lights ready let's get all four We got four of these and again the plan is to light the bulb and the, the crew cabin the cabin ports on top with both of these we may not need both of them um, we'll see and we may not be able to use I don't really see why there would be an issue not being able to use the, the parts I don't see why this won't work 
maybe if we need to increase the power. But anyway, we're going to test it out. We're going to put together all the internal components and we're going to test it before we do anything else. But what we need to do is we have to wait for this to dry first. All right, so I had some time to dry. I think what we can do now is we can actually take them off of the, uh, the trees. Let's see, we've got a little bit of trimming that we need to do on this. Just a bit of flash over there. It's just a bit of um, there we are. It's a little bit better. All right, let's do this side. bad but we still have a little bit to, to trim off yeah that's pretty good there we go all right you can see the way they're going to fit together everything. It looks slightly, slightly off. See, it looks off just a bit. do is we're going to have to dry it, uh, excuse me, we're going to have to glue it, we're going to have a lot of uh, filling to do with the sanding, just to get it to fit, but I wanted to see, we'll be able to cut just a little bit of that, and what we'll do is we'll run the wires through, and then we'll um, attach it to the bottom part of the uh, secondary hull, and we'll be all set to paint it, and I just wanted to show you guys how it uh, fit together. Had a little bit of issues, but we'll be able to take care of that. Let's put the tree aside, and you can see how it's going to go. This section is going to go right into the slot on top, and then eventually it's going to go just like this. These are going to fit together. And you see there's a little bit of sanding we're going to have to do to kind of level this out because this is um, supposed to be smooth but anyway it's going to go on just like this and go right into the uh, slot actually you know guys i got five millimeter bulbs that we'll be using for this the two bulbs are going to go into this section so let's make sure we have enough clearance Looks like this isn't big enough. Actually, let's make this hole a little bit bigger for the wires, because this won't be visible. Right. Yeah, let's try that now. 
I just want to make sure the five millimeter bulb is going to fit in here. All right, let's see if we can. Still doesn't want to go through. Let's see, do I have a bigger drill bit? Let's try to make it just a bit bigger. Let's see if we do it from this side. really make it huge just enough to pass those wires through like I said I don't have any drill bits big enough that's a little bit bigger all right let's try that yep that's just enough all right You see, the five millimeter might be a little bit too large. Let's see, I don't want to open it up and do all this damage for nothing. Let's see, this is gonna, it's probably gonna be too big. Yeah. Let me see if I can try, let's go a size smaller. Let's see if we can use the, um, the two millimeter or the three millimeter. I think this is, uh, I think these are three millimeter. Let's see how these fare. And these are the white. These are a little bit softer. Yeah, that's got a little bit better uh, fitting capacity. The only thing is these are the soft white. These might be a little bit easier to use than these. You can see there is a big size difference. We could still use the brighter ones. We just make the hole larger and then we can kind of just peek it through a little bit and just kind of bring it up to there. These no doubt will be brighter than the, um, than the three millimeter. But we'll see. We still have a little bit of time before we get to that. In this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to prep all the parts. I wanted to get them nice and clean. And I wanted to do the, um, the lighting plan and get all that straight with you guys. Just to show you what my plans were. How we're going to wire it. Uh, where we're going to light it. And I wanted to get all the mold and everything off the parts. So with that said, this video is pretty much done like i said in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to start to put the uh, pieces together yeah let's see let me show you that what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this section once it's glued put together we're going to put it onto the secondary hull just like that and what we're going to do is we're going to set up all the electronics on the inside and then we'll be ready to paint it so my friends until the next video i thank you so much for watching and until the next video take care live long and prosper kapla